Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It is 546. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Here's a live look at our KX Cam in downtown Bismarck. We have some breaks in the clouds, but a lot of us are seeing cloud cover out there and rain. We've got rain in the southwest. We've got some thunderstorms here. These are not severe. We did have one that was severe. We had several severe yesterday and some tornado warnings. But in terms of after midnight, we have one about 3 a.m. this morning that moved into eastern uh, Adams County, western Sioux County. And it's basically had a line of storms since then. So I suspect that these areas here will probably have some pretty high rain totals after this morning but that line of rain moves and and the I should say the line of storms embedded in that rain moving through Glen Ellen up into Beulah and uh, through Kilder this morning just south of Newtown so lots of uh, rain with embedded thunderstorms we're going to continue seeing that for today now in terms of the rain reports from last night one of the highest that I have is in Dunn uh, just over three inches just under two and a half in Mott about an inch and a half in Garrison about an inch out of the airport in Minot and at the airport in Bismarck, eight tenths of an inch. So some good soaking rain and we're not done. We've got more rain for today. Temperatures are in the 60s right now. We're looking at a lot of mid to upper 60s and wind speeds are around 15 miles per hour. Or so they're really coming from all different directions depending on where you're at. The low is going to be kind of off towards the west here. So you can see here variable in terms of directions, but a lot of our winds will be westerly later on this afternoon. But highs will be a lot cooler in the west. 60s and 70s in western North Dakota. Some areas struggling to even see the 70s, and that would be around the northwest and around Dickinson. And many of us uh, in central and eastern North Dakota will see some 70s and 80s. But with that, we've got chances for severe storms. We still have a lot of instability. In fact, we're watching all storms on the radar right now because they do have the capacity to become stronger. But it's later this afternoon through this evening that we have that marginal and that slight risks. So uh, what we'll see here is, especially through the daytime heating, we'll see a strengthening of these storms. This stationary front will eventually push to the east through the afternoon. You can see here late afternoon, middle, late afternoon, we'll start seeing that move through central North Dakota. And then that pushes off towards the east. We'll have some lingering rain showers behind that into uh, Wednesday morning. But then Wednesday, we really clear out. We'll get some sunshine the second half of the day, especially with temperatures on Wednesday rebounding with some of that sunshine. So another good round of soaking rain for today. And then we have a quieter second half of the work week. But here's a look at the potential rain. And you can see here we've got this line of uh, well over an inch, possibly a couple of inches. So kind of like what we saw last night, we're going to see a repeat of that for today. Here's the Dickinson three-day forecast. We are back into the uh, around the 80 degree mark there for when on Wednesday upper 80s on Thursday. Here's your Williston three day. In fact, a beautiful sky in Williston this morning with that cloud cover back to the low 80s on Thursday. And in fact, we all heat up as we head into the weekend. Why not? You're back into the upper 80s. We're looking at small chances for rain and storms almost every day. That is a very summer like forecast. And then for the 4th of July, a small chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Here's Bismarck once again reaching into those 90s for the end of the work week. It's going to be a hot one and the weekend have cooled it off a little bit. Back to the 80s, still pretty hot though as we head into this first weekend of July. Well, it's kind of like, uh, you know, we want the cool down, we want yeah. the rain, but now right. the 4th of July, it's just like, oh. Can we just like dial it in a little bit so it doesn't <laughs> rain on 4th of July? I'll put in a good word. Beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Amber. Right. Plenty of stories ahead on Good Day Dakota, including... A new